Welcome to this 15 minute game. I'm playing hmm, Rainier Doris mm -hmm, from the US, right? Okay, knight of 3c5. I could. Okay, let's go. Let's play a proper English. I could play e4 going back to the Sicilian, but let's just um, do something that I know. The moment I feel like not being in terribly good shape, so better stay within the thing that things that I know. I think I played a bit too much chess in recent times. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, the Maroxy bind. As already mentioned on some occasions, one of my favorite openings. Maybe my favorite. I cannot really remember that I ever lost a tournament game with that. At least not in uh, in recent memory. And I've won a ton. I mean, really a ton. Um, I lost with black <laughs> in the Maroxy sometimes <clears throat> when I was uh, trying it uh, on the black side. Okay, uh, I played this knight c2 move that I really like a lot, avoiding um, further exchanges. The more pieces um, stay on the board, the more problems um, black has. He's got less space and uh, would really like to trade some pieces. Yeah, the other general problem, and this is um, a typical thing for the whole, let's say, dragon family of openings, is the d5 square. White very often can plant a knight on d5, and this is not, a to not to tolerable for a long time. Black will often need to take it, and then you will suffer from some, some um, serious space disadvantage in the center. Okay. I'm um, covering this here. He can uh, try bishop e6, but I'm um, not sure that it is really leading too much. I always have knight d5 on that. And uh, at some point, uh, black needs to attend the threat to a7. <clears throat> oh, h5. That's a bit surprising. I really, um, I really don't um, intend to play b4. Mm, yeah, maybe <clears throat> he wants to play bishop h6 at some point. Maybe. Yeah, what about this a7 pawn? Yeah. Um, but okay, sb6, I'm probably trapping it. Mm, yeah, not a good idea. But I can, I can. Um, Threaten to take it, maybe after knight d5. Or rook c1 first. Yeah, maybe knight d5 before he gets in queen a5. Um, this h5 move is really um, really a problem for black. This is sometimes an idea in the Maroxy. If you manage to exchange the bishop on h6, or you can sometimes you have positions where the queen can go to h8 and uh, sort of use the long diagonal that's uh, very far away here and another problem is that this h5 move makes it uh, somewhat more difficult for black to move the f pawn for instance after a trade on d5 sometimes f5 is a source of counterplay and here combining h5 and um, and f5 would really weaken him a lot okay b6 just uh, securing the a7 pawn, but now after a capture on d5, c takes d5, the c file and the c6 square in particular will be a problem. Yeah, I need to strengthen this a bit. The rook belongs here anyway, and I'm not quite sure what black is doing. Actually, I, I, I expected that. And now I have knight b5, this was my idea. Yeah, knight b5 without him being able to take it. And the knight can sometimes just go to d4. Oh, this is a big concession. Now I get um, I get a very nice play on the c file. I think I will take with the pawn. Yep. 
I mean, I need to take with the pawn anyway, but e takes d5 is often also very good. Here, here it would have been quite interesting, even because f4, f5 is much stronger with h5 being played. Yeah, but this was <clears throat> my my intention. Now I'm coming in with bishop b5, bishop a6, these kind of ideas. It's just um, a very, very convenient endgame. Or, yeah, it can be an endgame if black starts to trade off things now. Rook c1, rook c1, rook c8. It's just a very nice position for white. Yeah, maybe you can play queen b7, at least preventing bishop a6. Yeah, but I still have bishop b5 and can use the weakened c6 square. Yeah, I played this in a fairly simplistic manner, but still um, the c file and the c6 square are very promising. This is um, a position which really is defined completely by this move b6. If black wouldn't have played b6, yeah, like a6 yeah, instead of b6, the, the whole thing is is um, with, with a6 instead of b6, yeah, well, white is, is somewhat better, yeah, two bishops, space, and so on, but it's nothing really, um, um, nothing concrete. And here I have this direct way to um, to use the the weakened the weakened square. Okay, let's just <clears throat> go there immediately. Very tough to defend. A6, bishop, c6. It's very annoying, this piece. And I can still combine the play on the c file and on c6 with um, with a later advance on the king side, like f4. At the moment, f4 is never really possible as e4 is hanging, but it's not um, something I need to do immediately. I think black should try to exchange as much as possible. <laughs> rook c1, rook c8. Yeah. <clears throat> Not much choice. I mean, I wanted to go there anyway. Yeah, well, I think well, black shouldn't take, right? <clears throat> Better queen somewhere. Okay, takes. Hmm. Yeah, taking with the pawn is not that convincing, but I wanted to take with the knight anyway. <clears throat> just keep this piece on c6. It's just, uh, just very, um, very problematic for black to live with that. Yeah, what's my next plan based on this knight? Um, yeah, maybe a4, b4, b5, just um, cementing this. Not a bad idea. He wants to play e6 mm -hmm, for counterplay. Maybe bishop g5 so that after e6 I can, I can just take it. On f6, I mean. Or bishop d4. Yeah, well, then bishop h6 is not helping. Hmm. Mm, now that's not so, so clear cut. 
when he gets to play e6. What if I <clears throat> directly attack here, queen f2 attacking b6? Still has e6. Hmm, I'm not sure. If I should play bishop d4, e6, and then take it, or bishop g5, and then take it. The dark squares are, are really a problem. Hmm. Yeah, it's not so easy, actually. After e6, takes, takes, there's always this knight d5 threat. And, um, Maybe bishop f4, just attacking d6. And on e6, ignore it. Yeah, that's, that's maybe a good idea. Maybe do that. I don't know. I wanted to play a move now, finally. So e6, I'll just, I'll just keep the tension and claim that after e d5, e d5, I'm attacking d6. Hmm. e6, bishop d6 immediately can take d5 and play queen d7. Huh? This is not really great. I lose back the pawn. Ah, okay. Yeah, but now I have b4, right? Or, or b4, b5. Hmm. Yeah, okay, come on. Let's uh, Let's play that. Mm, yes, if he goes to b6 to c4, that's that's a problem. I need to um, to cover that. But on the other hand, a knight on b6. Okay, what I'm getting at is I go here and play knight a5. <laughs> Just return, and now I have knight a5 and possibly rook c6. Knight b6, there's also knight a5, hmm. queen a7, queen f2. That's nice. With a deadly pin. Yeah, that looks nice now. This b5 move surprised me. Yeah, knight, f knight a5 is a very important additional resource. I wonder if he maybe can play knight here exactly, knight there. Yeah, knight a5 is not leading to that much, can go to d7. No? Hmm. Yeah, remarkably resilient, all this. Yeah, or I played a couple of bad moves, that's uh, more likely. Um, yeah, what am I doing here now? Yeah, taking only five leads to absolutely nothing. And knight a5, I mean, what exactly is the point there? Hmm, strange. Really not sure why I, why I I did something wrong. Hmm. 
<sighs> yeah, there's knight c4. I cannot play something like queen c2. I just plays knight c4. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this keeping some pieces on the board. Ooh, amazing. Yeah. What 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 did I do wrong there? Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, Black played a ton of strange moves, and uh, <laughs> it should really be enough to be in in, in really big trouble. And he he somehow isn't. I mean, it's not nice, but um, it's not um, like Black is um, resigning any minute. Yeah, can just play Queen D7. He does not play that. Hmm. Bishop d4, or yeah, I'm not, not sure, I'm really. Draw offered. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> I'm still going to try to do something here. Yeah, bishop d4 is planning uh, to play f4 the right moment. Or maybe in some cases take on e5 and then go back to c6. Hmm, yeah. I really think queen d7 was the, the tougher way to play. Yeah, f4, I don't I don't really have much choice. Bishop e3 is just uh, just a repetition. But I don't mind f4 it must be quite okay. Yeah, I guess knight c4, yeah, knight d7 looks terribly passive. And knight g4, I don't know, I don't know what this should do, yeah. Okay, he must, must do that probably. Okay, take it. And yeah, now, bishop c3 blocking the pawn. Yeah, but okay, it's not going to, to move anytime soon. Yeah, let's strengthen the pawn structure a bit so that I can possibly move the queen. Uh, even this position is not um, totally clear cut. Yeah, yeah, I need to take. Hmm, okay, I was expecting the other one. Rook takes. But he probably wants to operate with e5, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, there's still quite a number of pieces on the on this in this diagonal here with e5. E5 can be a, be a really tricky move to face. Hmm. How do I improve this here? Not so. I don't see it at the moment. What's the best uh, way to play could be? I'm thinking of bishop c3 and on e5 to play queen d5. But he's got queen a7 check and then take. Hmm, not good. Yeah, 
this, these kind of ideas, these checks uh, are very problematic. I wonder if I should really play King H1. Yeah, come on, I need to play a move. E5. No, he's playing something else. Mm, yeah, that I really didn't didn't think of. Okay, if I take it and bishop c3. Intending queen d4 and attacking d5. And d5 is really hanging badly now. This must be um, must be covered. Hmm. Yeah, but maybe just rook d8 here, yeah? queen d4, rook e4. And this um, wasn't too great. Hmm. Still not easy. Yeah, queen d4, rook e4. <laughs> Remarkable. And still I cannot play f5. How do I get in f5 quickly? I need to move the queen away here. And still keep queen f2 maybe. Keeping d4 under control and intending to play f5. f5, bishop c1, fg6 is, uh, should be winning. So this uh, pin with the bishop on the rook is not so dramatic. d4 I can take. Yeah, maybe this is still okay. <sighs> yeah, but f5, isn't f5 strong? Yeah, come on d4 takes should win and bishop c1 taking a yeah wins definitely i mean uh, i didn't calculate that but i cannot believe he can take still if i take and he goes to h6 is this a mate hmm Bishop takes c1 would be extremely cold blooded. Take g6, king h6. No, playing something different. Okay, I will take here. I have queen c2 check, so check. I'll take here first. I have various intermediate checks. Okay, queen g3. Or queen c2. Our queen c2 is uh, strong though. I guess. Rook e4, this rook f6. And where do you go? I mean, you can go to the f file. No, I get to go to h7. Uh, uh, then it's probably, uh, probably very, very, very good. King g5, bishop d2 is easy. White is uh, winning after all, but this was uh, a tough piece of defense, Bubble Like. Yeah, Bishop D2 is the, the easiest, right? Or I can take it. Yeah, taking it is even easier. Queen takes, Bishop D2 is uh, winning the queen. And King takes, yeah, well, Rook F1, this, this is going to be a mate. Black resigns. Yeah, it, right here I, I felt um, that uh, this must be fantastic for white. And somehow it was still very resilient. Maybe this was premature, I don't know. And b4 is better. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, this wasn't wasn't uh, really that clear cut. Especially here, if you think queen d7, I mean, there is nothing going on. I really, um, I well, I played it. Um, I must played some some not too great moves, and he defended well. Only here, I think he went wrong again slightly. Still, this is a very complicated position. D5 was surprising to me. I thought he should just um, keep the, the structure as it is. But maybe this can do that. Uh, this is not bad for black, probably. Yeah, only here. This this is this is um, allowing f5 with with deadly effect, or um, let's say advantage for white. Computer wants to play queen d6 or rook f8. Is it after f5? Yeah, it's probably not a win if black defends perfectly. Rook f8 is a move. Only this is really winning. Check. Yeah, yeah, this is now really winning. Check. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but what about about this here? I mean, this is really a must be excellent for white. Maybe it's just a mistimed procedure. Bishop b5 to c6, and just I just just play. I should just play uh, like b4 and a3 and those kind of slow moves. I mean, uh, don't forget if if we j if we trade uh, more pieces, and I get an end game with the space advantage and the two bishops, white is in fantastic shape. I don't really need to to do something uh, spectacular here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this wasn't really helping, this transfer of the bishop. Okay, very tough game. Thanks for watching.